Hello everyone and welcome to a new Twitch Tips video with me, Callie. Today we're going to be discussing how to set up a bot for your channel, such as the Streamlabs Cloud Bot, which is the one that I use. So if you want that, go to the Streamlabs website, log in, and then uh, it may pop up a screen like this. And so up top you're going to see a button that says Dashboard. I'm going to click Dashboard going to bring up a thing like this. Now, on the left side, click CloudBot right here. So, a couple options you have here. You could do link pr protection, symbol protection, all these different items. You could have a custom name set up. If you are a Twitch Prime member, um, I have a Eternia bot account set up for that. Um, and then obviously we have all of these other options. Bots are super important, but the ones that are everyone else uses that you really want to make sure you have is go to commands. Go to custom commands, click add command, use, uh, you want to do an exclamation mark discord. That's a common one. Uh, you could do one for each of your other platforms. You could do a CP for channel points uh, or whatever you'd like. But let's go look at the Discord one. That's very common that people use. Exclamation mark Discord. Obviously, join the Attorney Archives Discord. Special role for being Kelly's subscriber. And you put a link to your Discord there. Okay. Make sure you give the bot moderator access. Otherwise, it's not going to be able to post links. And then you could reply in chat. Everyone can use it. Now over here are some options. You could do the global cooldown of whatever, or user cooldown, or if you want to charge people loyalty points, which that's a whole nother video on how to set up loyalty points. You can also use aliases and keywords if you want, but basically everyone knows what exclamation mark discord is. Hit that 30 second global cooldown, 30 or 60, that way it doesn't spam your chat if somebody gets really overzealous. So there's a, a Discord one, super important, super easy. Super easy. Now this is obviously after you turn on the CloudBot itself, up top. So, other important ones. So there's, there's di different, uh, I know this is another popular one that people have, which is Lurk. Exclamation mark Lurk, it puts your username, and then you could put some kind of phrase. Uh, I set a user cooldown on this one. So people can't spam it. Uh, but lots of people use that. Uh, if you want one for the word no one else could use, or just you know, your mod can use, this is this shows all of my different places. So I have an estimation mark Kelly. I don't have a cooldown because the button I click on my stream deck where it types that in chat, and it does this. Obviously, if you want to do anything else besides this. Any common command that you're gonna see on other Switch streamers things, you can make it here. You just go do that. There's lots of default ones that already exist. So I recommend looking at these. See if there's any you want to keep. You could have quotes, you can have some timers. So this is a this is a big one. It's one a lot of people struggle with. So for me, I use Twitter and Discord the most. I'm also in a lot of other spots, but for Twitter, uh, you added a timer, you named it that. So I put, uh, this is a decent call, call to action, so once an hour it will send this. So every 60 minutes, it will check to see if in the last five minutes there were at least one chat line. So every hour it's going to go off. And I think that's important. Uh, to have something like this just reminds people to go do the things. Now this one, if your chat is really active, uh, I have it set up for every 30 minutes. Like hanging out in chat with Callie, joining the Discord server, so then it puts a link to Discord. Now this is only, this only happens if chat is very active. So in the last five minutes, if there's been 15 lines of text, it's gonna take and put this out in chat. Obviously there's tons more you could do. I've debated doing um, some other ones, but these two seem to not clog up the chat. 
but they're also pretty important. Yeah, obviously, if you use different platforms besides Twitter, replace that with this. Um, just, it's good to have some timers. They're just auto stuff. You don't have to think about if there's enough chat going on, it will just do it for you. So I recommend setting these up. Now, probably the last thing I will be discussing on this is that you need to just go through what they have here. If you care about caps lock, I don't. Obviously, we use a default blacklist. Um, subscribers of mine aren't punished. My channel is pretty wholesome. Um, you could set it up for however you want, um, but I don't really have a whole lot of this issues, so as long as it's not too excessive, this just seems to work. And you could prefer put on overlong messages or too many emotes. I love emotes, so I, I don't know why you've set that one up, but I guess if you have a massive community, that could be it. Um, yeah, so there's just lots of different things. There's, there's different games you could set up, the 8-ball, and then you could put answers. So people could type 8-ball and put a question and it'll give them an answer back. There's a slots thing. Um, emo. I mean, there's lots of options. So, first thing I want to do is you go open up your Twitch. Go open up your Twitch. Okay. You could even do this in the dashboard. Alright. Right here. You could just type slash mod Streamlabs and it will allow you to be a mod. Pretty simple. Pretty simple. And then it should just work. It should just work. Pretty simple. Straightforward, short tutorial. Now, the there's a Twitch shoutout command that I use on my stream. That does not work on this spot. I have to use the Nightbot for that. But that is That is a different discussion for a different day. So this has been Callie, twitch.tv slash Callie Chronicles. You can find me all over the place. And hopefully this tech tip helped you set up a bot for your stream. Leave comments down in the description below. Let me know if you have any issues with this, and I will see you next time. Bye for now. Hey friend, thanks for watching that video. If you'd like to watch other videos from me, click the links on screen right now. Or if you would like to visit me in any of my other portals, check the links in the description below. And consider watching me on twitch.tv slash Chronicles, where I live stream all the time. Thanks again, and I hope you have an awesome rest of the day. Bye for now.